If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Hey my keto friends, I am here at the Keto Condo and I am doing a recipe posted on MariaMindBodyHealth.com of the best hot chocolate. I've had many, many people test it and they just absolutely love it. And one of the secrets is using browned butter. Have you ever made hot chocolate and the cocoa powder kind of floats to the top and it's all clumpy and stuff? Well, that's why you want to make a paste. And you want to make a paste with butter. And if you make it with brown butter, it's even better. Um, yeah, I have beach hair. Don't care, right? Just got in from the beach. We're playing Scrabble out on the deck. And I thought, since it's not my turn and it's taking a little while, I'm going to come in here and brown butter. So I like to use Kerrygold. You could use a different brand, but not all butters are created equal. Um, you want to look for butters that are uh, full fat. Uh, they're more unctuous. You're not going to get that watery separation if you could just get like a, you know, a store brand uh, type of a butter. And it's beautiful, bright uh, color is my favorite. So I am going to put it into a pot like this. Always start with a larger pot than you plan because it's going to fizz up, especially if you add anything to it later, like making my brown butter cheese sauce. It's delicious. Um, I have an induction oven here and I'm going to do the speed boost, but I can talk you through. If you've never made brown butter before, it tastes delicious on a piece of fish. Um, tonight we're having mahi mahi, which is fresh. You walk about a block and a half down the street and you pick up fresh mahi mahi is delivered twice a day. So you can hear the sizzling. Um, and I will kind of show you through this. So it's just melting now. But I'm going to show you because it's going to fizz up and then fall back down. Um, I make a brown butter cheese sauce that is to die for. And I made the carnivore lasagna with that instead of using a tomato sauce. Obviously, tomatoes are not carnivore. But I wanted to do my lasagna, my protein noodle lasagna. Have you tried the protein noodle lasagna? Because it is a hit. Um, and if you wanted to do it carnivore style, you would replace the tomato sauce with like a brown butter cheese sauce. I also love um, the brown butter on shrimp. It's good on steak. It's good on anything. Um, it just gives it that special je ne sais quoi, you know, special flavor. Um, it kind of tastes like a little bit of caramely. I definitely notice if you overdo it, it tastes a little bit like too dark. Um, but you can definitely push it. If you push it to be black butter, that's actually a thing in France. But it just tastes like burnt butter to me. So... Uh, let's see. We well, want that right on the center. What are you cooking today? I'd love to see your pictures. And where are you from? I'd love to see that too. But remember, this uh, brown butter hot chocolate, the best hot chocolate, will be posted on uh, MariaMindBodyHealth.com. I think tomorrow, because tomorrow is National Hot Chocolate Day. Not that we're really wanting to have hot chocolate here, but it is what it is. So, I'm going to show you this. It's going to start to fizz up. And you want to have a whisk because if you don't whisk it, it will get black on the outside and not done on the inside where your hot spots are. So it's just starting to fizz now and it'll get real quiet. I can do this without even looking at it. Craig laughs because I can hear when it's done because it gets a, the, the sounds change. You can see it. Let's check it out. I know it's taking a while. Sorry, guys. But what are you making for uh, your meal prep this week? I'd love to see that. Uh, love it on your steak. Yeah, that's right. From Central Cali. Lucky girl. You probably don't want any. Actually, I heard that it was a little chilly in California. We had some people. Um, mentioned that they're from California. Let's see, Illinois is cold. Hot chocolate would be great. Hi from Michigan, another cold space. So let's see. Okay, here it comes. I can hear it. Oh yeah, see how it's fizzing up? It's gonna go almost all the way to the top of the pot. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. It's just starting to turn a little bit darker. 
And I push mine, you know, quite a bit. Some people are just more of a caramely, like a light brownish color. I like to hit it hard. But yeah, here it is. It's brown butter. And I know I'm shaking the camera, so I'm sorry about that. But this is delicious. Now you can chill this and, you know, slice a piece onto a warm steak, a warm fish, um, or use it for your hot chocolate. So there you go. Hot chocolate with brown butter. This brown butter is amazing. I often do a double batch. Um, I'll do two sticks, but make sure you use a bigger pot, right? Aloha, everybody. Sharing is caring. Share this video with your friends.